welcome to today's vlog. So today is a travel day. We have been actually in this RV spot for about four months. We are so excited to get back on the road. It's a really short drive. It's only about three and a half hours. We're actually going north and it is gonna be freezing. I know 30 degrees is not freezing to you guys, but we are Floridian, so it's pretty cold. But I am just getting everything packed up. So usually whenever we get ready to hook up and everything, I have to pack everything into the sink. So, <laughs> Everything that is right here, we kind of shift into the sink. It looks like a total disaster and a mess, but then it's not sliding all over everywhere, and then nothing breaks, and then we just kind of put some stuff over here. Those books will probably slide everywhere, unless maybe I can put the blankets over there. All right, there we go. So we got the blankets over there, and then, yeah, we got some stuff we're taking into the car. Um, this is the first time traveling with the futon, so we're kind of hoping that it doesn't shift. We gotta bring all the bikes and everything in to the RV because we don't have a bike rack yet. And then we have the dollhouse. I put it here, it shifted everything and everything is a disaster, but it only takes a few minutes to put it back together. So yeah, are you ready to get back on the road? <laughs> the girls, I got some coloring books. Which one do you have? I have Words to Color by coloring book and I also brought my new book, Smile and Sisters, and I brought all my bookmarks and coloring. <laughs> you excited to get on the road? Yeah. It's so cold, like I said, so they have their little onesie pajamas on still to be cozy on the drive. And it's almost time for Mr. Hudson's nap, so hopefully he does good on the drive, but he ate and everything. Hudson, are you a good boy? Look how cute he is. He's just waiting for me to take him out. Hey, hey, hey. Are you ready to go on a ride? Yeah? Are we lip gloss? Oh my goodness. Look at that pretty lipstick. And oh wait. One Your onesie. One. <laughs> she has her party beads on. <laughs> Alright, I love you. Let's go hit the road. Good morning, Hannah. Say good morning. Okay guys, so I'm in the car right now and I'm going to show you my setup. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is all of my art supplies. And then I have my glasses case right here. And then I have my adorable unicorn beanie boo, Pixie. My book, Smile and Sisters. And this bag has all my bookmarks in it, but I can't really show you guys right now. And then I have my atlas right here. And then my coloring book. And then last but not least, Come my on. blanket. All right, Hudson, sit. Your first road trip, buddy. Yeah. Sit. Sit, bud. Sit. He's going to wait till Presley's comfortable, and then he's going to lay across her, and it's the cutest little thing, huh? You're getting so big. We got Hudson's water. I don't know if I showed this already, but I think I did, but look how cool this is. So cool. It like uh, puts the water up in here, and whenever he's done, you just like pour it out. So no dirt gets it back in there and it doesn't go back into here. Got him some treats whenever we stop to go to the bathroom. We are uploading a vlog. And now, we're gonna hit the road, bud. Yeah. First things first, we gotta get some air in the trailer tires. We haven't driven it in, you know, four months. So the tires are a little low. We have this perfect gas station. Look how awesome this is. It was right near the RV park. So it's a racetrack. You literally could pull it right here with the trailer. Oh yeah, look how low gas is. But anyways, we're gonna get some air right there. There's someone right there. Also, we wanted to let you guys know the RV park. We can finally tell you which park it was. It was Timberlane RV Park in Bradington, Florida. It's literally right off the interstate. A lot of cool amenities. So if you guys want that information, we'll link it down below in the description box. Lisa was amazing. She is the owner of the park. It was it was just a great experience and we definitely would stay there again. But it is a really awesome place to stay. They have a little lake. Everyone who was there, we are gonna miss them so much. They were so, so nice. They loved the girls, us and of course Hudson. He was a popular dude, huh? Where is he? Is he taking his nap? Hi Hudson. What? Okay guys, so I 
been working on this picture for like an hour now. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I made this picture and it says nature never goes out of style and I did all these acorns. We're home! <laughs> just kidding. Home so number one yeah, of the trip. Home number one. So we just got here. We have a nice paved little Ooh, spot here. And we're on the corner, so we have like grass, which is really nice for a little Hudson. Little and we have spot. a park nearby. And tonight, they're doing live music at the pool. Right? And a bonfire. Well, and a bonfire. So nice. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's cold. Yeah. It doesn't feel like we're in Florida right now. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it is so cold. But we have the pool right there. I don't think we're going to be able to go in the pool, though. No. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so, we, we didn't ask if it was heated or not. We have um, riding, we have a space to ride our bikes behind the RV. Yep. Yep. Just have to be. Yeah, there's a little, little behind the gate, there's like a little gravel road. Yeah. All that. So yeah, now yeah. it's time to set it up, up get us organized. Let's go. <laughs> the setup outside we got everything set up inside easy peasy it only took like literally 10 20 minutes and then I think one of our favorite purchases we got this clam quick screen shelter look how cool this is you just pull a few things and voila we have like an outdoor room look how cool this thing I was like we just need to pull this zipper down and lock the kids in there and let them run around <laughs> Not serious, but look how cool this is. <laughs> it's fairly large too. I don't know if you could tell from the video, but it's pretty large. You like it, babe? Oh yeah. Now I need to figure out. <laughs> is it warm in there? <laughs> it is so cool. Hannah, you wanna go in there? All right, let Hannah in. This RV site, the picnic table is way over there. I'm sure we can move it because it's fairly light, but we want to just leave it over there and have this separate. Oh, this is so cool. So there's a dog park and we're about to take Hudson to the dog park and I think they have live music tonight. We actually ordered some groceries online to have delivered to because we're out of water and our little pitcher thing, the filter was not good anymore. So we're just like, let's just get some water this time and order some things for dinner. Let's see, is Hudson gonna come through here? Hudson, oh! <laughs> Jenny! Hudson! I just got done at the dog park. It's freezing outside, isn't it? So cold. Oh! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. She always likes to jump right out of the uh, stroller. Okay, car. All right, we just got back from the dog park. You guys have to see how filthy Hudson is. Oh my gosh. He's like black on his chin. You had a good time, huh? He had such a blast playing with the dog. Her name was Jenny. She was so sweet. And there was a point where, I don't know if you guys get scared when you take your dogs to the dog park. But they were like growling and biting at each other, but I guess that's how dogs play. We've never had a, like a family dog before. But it was intense, but he let all his energy out. He had a great time, but now he is gonna rest. Actually, I think we're gonna give him a bath because he's filthy dirty. Look at his coat right here. I don't know if you can see it, but he has dirt right here. He's like black. Mom's giving Hudson a bath. Because he's so dirty on his chin. All right, Hudson is all done with his bath. Look how he looks like a little wet mop. <laughs> Usually I'll lay a towel down and he'll like dry himself off or I'll try to dry him as much as I can, but he was not having it. He's grubbing down right now and then I'm sure he's gonna fall right asleep because he was just like letting me give him a bath. You guys saw he was just like standing there. Usually he tries to jump out, but there was so much dirt coming off of him, which I know it's kind of not a good thing to give him a bath right now because we're probably gonna go to the dog park every single day that we're here so he's probably gonna get even more dirtier but it was nice to just get that first layer off huh bud do you feel better Hudson look how cute he looks he's looking for a spot to lay down <laughs> you looking for a spot bud look he at him so I brushed him but we also had his harness on for so long hey <laughs> like, Don't you dance with me? and it made like a bald spot on his fur so it looks so funny oh I'm sorry, oh. bud. I had to give you a bath. But you're a good boy and I love you. I know you're mad at mommy, huh? <laughs> the girls are all ready. 
to go listen to, to live music, music and you look beautiful. And clear. Since I left just stood the test of time like a beater It got too far and I will always linger You went away to feel the wind get a fitter It worked and I was on the verge looking back We had all the reasons to split and we made a final Hannah! Hi! Hannah! Hi! Hannah! Hi! Hi. Hi. What? What? All right, guys, we finally made it back to the RV. Keith has his pop bear shirt on. We have the laptop ready. We're gonna watch the manifest. It is on Hulu. Yeah. It is such a good show. So if you guys haven't seen it, that's what we're currently watching. But look how cute this is. Oh, he got oh, up. Oh man, he got up, dude. Okay, Hudson was laying here and Hannah was laying on him and it was so cute, such a cute moment. Hannah's having some daddy phone time. <laughs> she just like goes through and clicks on like YouTube kid stuff. They're having some popcorn. The girls are over here. What are you girls doing? Was today a good day? Yeah? Thumbs up all around? And I'm not sure if I even said it, but we are actually in St. Augustine, so we went a little bit north, like three and a half hours. It actually took us five hours to get here because kid life, driving life. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. We're so glad to be back vlogging. It's been a long time and I feel like it's so much fun creating all these memories and sharing with you guys, plus something for us to look back on, especially during the travels. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see where we're headed next. We're actually gonna be here for about one to two weeks. We aren't really sure yet, um, but for sure one week. But thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Stay groovy. I don't know what you're stressing, but I know that you will find it out.